Sam and Kelly, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss one another. It is with my greatest privilege, may I present Mr. and Mrs. Miller, husband and wife. Let's all away to have you here with me. Sam and Kelly knew of one another growing up in grade school. It was not until each of them began senior high school jobs at Cub Foods in Cottage Grove, Minnesota, that the current love we see in front of us today truly began to blossom. I remember us at 17, just kids, blissfully young and dumb. We worked weekends at the grocery store where you'd bring boxes out to the garden center just to talk to me, wait in a long line full of customers just to come through my lane, or you'd simply watch me from behind the showcasing of apples. I remember during early senior year of high school, I watched you leave my house for the first time on a cool autumn night. I walked you to your car to leave that night, and as you backed up my driveway, I longingly watched you leave, and I knew you were the one. At school, you'd walk me from class to class. You broke into my locker before school on my birthday to surprise me with flowers. <laughs> At night, you'd drive me home and go 15 and a 30 just to spend two extra hey, more minutes cheer. with me. All right. Oh my God. Hi. Oh. It's so beautiful. You never cry. <laughs> you didn't make it easy for me, though. Here, it was six long months, but worth it, of chasing you. And many small gestures, such as buying you flowers in the morning of your 18th birthday at the place where I spent countless days ogling over you in the Prado style. And even after we started dating, which took a lot of convincing on your part, you, you told me early on that you were going to marry me. I thought you were crazy. Now, here we are, still just kids, and still just as crazy as we were at 17. I'm ready. Oh my God, you're beautiful. I could go on about the countless incredible stories and adventures we've shared together. My favorite part is that they were with you. They planned to hike Lock Lake, which is the one trail Kelly really wanted to do while she was there. Well, we found it and we started the mid-afternoon hike. It was the most beautiful, serene lake Kelly had ever seen. Sam asked to take a picture with Kelly at the lake and in the middle of her nagging him to make sure he smiled, he bent down and showed her the ring. Sam told Kelly on one of their first dates that he was going to marry her. She shrugged it off. And after all this time, Sam truly knew what he always wanted. So here we all are, smiling, laughing, and crying in review of the past several years Sam and Kelly have shared together. I consider myself incredibly lucky to have been chosen by you to be your wife, and in return, I continue to choose you every day. I promise to always close the cabinet doors that you leave open. I vow to support you, no matter the place, time, or cost. I, I promise to always love you unwaveringly for the rest of my life. I love you. I couldn't ask for a better companion in life, friend, and lover. I promise to always make you laugh, to smile, and to feel loved in the worst as well as the best of times. I love you, Kelly, forever and always. By the power vested in me via the internet, Sam and Kelly, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss one another. And I knew by the way you treated Kelly, buying her flowers every month for the first year of dating, I knew you'd stick around. I'm both excited and honored to now call you my brother-in-law. I love you both dearly. Cheers to you, the Millers. Love is something shared between two who deserve to have it, and there are no two more deserving than you. 
And on behalf of myself and my wife, we wish you nothing but love. What Cheers. Can I say to convince you to stay? Yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, To forget me not and we fade away You're my little flower Blooming in the night Only for an hour The northern lights My Casablanca sweetheart Nectar so divine